for the woman that just wants to have beautiful arms, certainly there's a lot of exercises that we can do that refines the shoulders, will give you the definition in the arms, not having you to have such muscularity in the top part of your body, um, or not to the level of which mine are at or others that you might have seen. Um, again, it's just isolation of the muscle groups and lifting heavy weights that's going to grow your shoulders up, of course, with the support of how you're eating. But certainly there's other ways to achieve beautiful shoulders, beautiful definition, and not appearing muscular, okay? Um, so I think it's really important that that's clarified because, you know, there's a lot of women that will look at me or look at others and it's, oh my goodness, I don't want to have so much muscle. I don't want to, you know, look so muscular. I just want to be well toned. Well, understand this, any type of training that you encounter with defiance, you know, um, with persistence, you know, in terms of helping to mold those muscles and shape them is going to give you that nice appearance. You're going to have that beautiful tone visual and you are going to build some, some sort of muscle, absolutely, because you're training those areas, you're training those muscle groups. However, to the intensity of growing larger muscles, that's going to come with the type of training um, that, you're, that you're doing. So no need to worry about about training hard you can train hard and achieve whatever body type it is that you want to achieve it's just important for you to understand what it is you're training and how you're going about it to achieve that Very, very important to understand. Once again, we're, not everybody's going to the gym wanting to do what I do, okay? Um, I see a lot of ladies that will go to the gym and their focus primarily is just cardio. That's okay, all right? However, for those that are wanting a little bit more outside of the cardio, you got to get some weight training in. Um, cardio is going to be good for your vascular. It's going to help you, you know, s with strength. It's definitely going to help with your heart, with your lungs, with your breathing, you know, and cardio is something that you're getting all the time through walking. Walking around at work is a form of cardio. Um, you know, engaging with your animals, running around with the dog, chasing the children is a form of cardio. However, do not rely on cardio for those of you that may not have a complete understanding um, of how the process works physically. Do not rely on cardio as your only means of toning and firming up those muscles. You certainly will need to incorporate some type of weight training. It could be from 5 pounds to 10 pounds. It could be the conditioning that we did today. Um, you're going to have to incorporate a little bit more to help take your body to the next level. Cardio is great for losing weight with burning calories with proper dieting, okay? And that's another very important thing to remember. Um, you can do cardio all day. You can be on the treadmill, the elliptical, up and down the stairs, you know. Um, however, when you burn those calories, it's important that what you're replacing them with is going to be healthy because if you're burning those calories and replacing them with you know water burger or what have you you're only putting back what you just took off and that kind of defeats the purpose